It's now the time for my top 10 most complimented perfumes for the year 2023. Yes, these are the fragrances na nakakuha ko ng Uy, ang bango mo, uy, ang bango niyan, mga ganyang klase na mga compliments. And by the way, just to set the expectations, yung mga taong mabibigay ng compliments sa'yo are usually yung mga lagi mong kasama, like maybe your, your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, friends, family, office mates, ganyan. Normally, yung mga madalas na kasama mo on a daily basis because yung mga unsolicited compliments from total strangers medyo rare talaga yan eh. normally mga galing itong mga compliments na to sa mga taong madalas nating kasama first is Shergeoff Naxos this is a honey tobacco combo fragrance you also have cinnamon in here and ginamit ko to sa office and I wasn't expecting a compliment actually dahil sabi ko nga hindi ito yung typical perfume na maamoy ng tao it's very unique although it smells very nice and yes sa dami ng ginamit kong perfume sa office ito yung parang natatandaan ko lang na nakuha ko ng compliments there are a group of people na office mates ko and then they ask me what I'm wearing so that's Sir Geoff Naxos next is a recent pick up actually pero nakakuha agad ako ng compliments this is Unique Luxury Crush On Me this one has caramel patchouli some floral notes ginger and lime but actually what you'll get here is a uh, caramelized sweetness you get a very earthy feels to it because of the patchouli it's very prominent in here there's also a little bit of balsamic note at the back and yes the soft florals in here it's not very present pero I know it's in the background to make it softer this smells very luxurious yun ang masabi ko talaga I used this for the first time sa isang kasal na inattended ko in December and almost lahat ng kasama ko complimented me na ang bango daw ng gamit ko babae, lalaki, lahat sila they were complimenting me na ang bango daw ng ginagamit ko pabango and yung nakatabi ko sabi niya sa akin yung amoy daw is parang pang special occasion lang talaga which is true tamang tama yung set niya this is something na talagang pang special occasion na pang alam yun pang diinan talaga this is unisex by the way but definitely meron siyang punch talaga na alam mo yun pag ginamit mo to sobrang takas ng presence alam yun not to mention that the performance is eternal sobrang tagal nito on skin and clothes sobrang consistent strong projection for the entire day so talagang 3 4 sprays would be you know sobra sobra na yun so yes that's unique luxury crush on me next is from Versace this is Versace Versace Eros Flame. Okay, so this is very new. Okay, very new because first time yata may pumasok na Versace Eros. Okay, Eros specifically on any of my list because yun nga, hindi ako fan talaga ng Eros. But when I tested Eros Flame, that same day, first time, I got compliments then from my office mates because I think the orange note na ginamit dito makes it more, a little bit fun, a little bit lighter, citrusy, you know, yung sweetness that is coming from that orange note, I think, mas wearable siya. I think sa lahat ng Eros Flanker, ito yung para sa akin acceptable for me to use as a person na, again, not a fan of Eros. So, plus performance of this one is okay, above average, definitely mapapansin ka. If you wanna use this as an alternative to the Eros Classic, if you wanna use it in, on parties, pwede pwede pa rin because it still has the DNA of Eros, which is parang mga 90% siguro, nandun pa rin to. But I think that slight tweak to it, which is yung from mint na ginawang orange i think i think that worked really well at least for me so yeah that's for such aeros flame talking about good looking bottle this is elysium from roja performs so this is basically fresh citrusy clean you get some citruses some fruity notes there's an amber green in here which is i think that's giving off that parang medyo makapal kind of vibe but in a unique way it smells very mass pleasing parang designer siya but niche quality scent very high quality fresh citrus fragrance and actually ang talagang nagko-compliment sa akin dito is my girlfriend no? lagi siyang nagtatanong kung ano yung ginagamit kong perfume kahit lagi niya na naamoy alam mo yun and again my girlfriend is not a fraghead doon ako minsan nagbe-base kapag oh ito ba is mas pleasing ba ito mo gusto ba ito ng kakaramihan ng mga tao because sa dami ng mga ginagamit kong perfumes iilan lang yung nakko-compliment niya so pag ganun I know na mas pleasing talaga yung perfume kapag nakko-compliment niya and this is one of those average performance as expected from this kind of scent profile so yeah there you go it's Elysium from Roja Perfumes we go beast mode this time this is Porto Parisi Mega Mare so of course of this magnitude of performance it's hard not to be noticed by people pag agad talaga kalakas yung perfume na ginagamit mo and for those who still don't know about Mega Mare this is touted as the strongest aquatic fragrance in the entire world <laughs> and uh, you will see kung totoo talaga yun ako I would say yes no? kasi talagang hindi pa rin ako nakatry ng ganito I don't know kung meron pang iba but in terms of being aquatic this is very unique away from the aquatics that we know it's again sabi ko nga it's not freshy aquatic it's parang the ocean or the beach at night 
hampas ng alon, yung ganong klase ng fresh, salty freshness, ganon yung vibe dito. So it's very unique, but again, clean and fresh smelling. And again, the performance is nuclear, that's why sobrang mapapansin ka talaga. As in, every, ito talaga yung perfume na ginagamit ko that I get compliments every single day, every single time na ginagamit ko siya. There will be one person na magko-compliment na ang bango mo. Or parang, ay, ikaw pala yung mabango. Ganon, kasi parang naamoy nila sa hangin. Hindi nila alam kung saan ang gagaling. And then when they realize na, uy, ikaw pala yung mabango. Yun, yun na yun. So that's the magic of Mega Mare. It's super strong. I think it's worth the price. Next is H24 Eau de Parfum. Although I like the EDT, but this blew my mind when I first tried it sa mall. Sobrang bango talaga. Sobrang nakaka-refresh siya. Sobrang parang siyang green apple, kind of uh, fruity sweetness, ganyan. Pero ang nagdadala talaga is that green notes na parang dewy, watery, alive. Again, very alive smelling scent that is based on green notes. This reminds me of one of my favorite fruits which is honeydew. Yung ganun feeling pag kinakain ko siya na manamis-namis, watery, very refreshing pag kinain mo. Alam mo yun, that's what, that's what I get with this fragrance. So, I don't know ba't hindi ito siya napag-uusapan but this is, to me, a fantastic fragrance. Man. Sobrang solid to from Hermes. Literally smells expensive, okay? Ang kuha kong compliment ito is that those same words na amoy mayaman. Isa to sa mga perfumes na ginamit ko when I went to my Vietnam trip. And of course, Vietnam is like parang Philippines lang yung weather. So, okay na okay siya because it's fresh. And then yung mga kasama ko, tinatalong ako ng perfume gamit ko. Sabi nung isa, amoy mayaman daw yung amoy nito. So, of course, ganun yung mga makuha mong compliments from non-frag heads, right? Pero ganun talaga kasi. Ganun talaga yung smell niya. Amoy mayaman siya. But I told you how it smells like. Plus, performance is also above average. So, talagang sa akin, sobrang sulit ito. Definitely one of my favorite fragrances. Hindi ako masyado mahilig sa green scents, but other than Hermes H24 EDP, this is one of my most favorite green scents of all time. Perfumes de Marley Greenly. This is a different take naman. I, I love H24 equally with Perfumes de Marley Greenly. Iba naman ang atake nito. This one is more parang grassy feels. Kung yun is parang parang green apple, honeydew, kind of green scent. This one is grassy pero bright and citric and yun nga, grassy parang dahon or parang damo in a very bright and fresh way with above average performance as well as a freshing. Okay, actually, Sedley talaga yung parang una kong gustong bilhin before pero sabi ko, ang hindi ng performance ng Sedley. I mean, it's long lasting but it's not super projecting but this one has projection and longevity. And again, I got compliments from fragheads, from non-fragheads using this fragrance. So, next is the there's two fragrances right here, Bulgari Tigar and Torathi Blue from Afnan. Why? Because Torathi Blue is a clone of Bulgari Tigar. One of the best clones, I think, kung try ko. Because, ataas ng quality nito. Alam mo, sobrang ganda ng quality. Parang parehas na parehas. This is 95%. Very close to Bulgari Tigar. Tinry ko ito nung pumunta ako sa bangko. Ito yung una kong ginamit. Sabi ko, uy, okay ah. May compliments ako from um, from the bank people. Okay, kilala ko naman sila. So, they complimented me. So, bumalik ko after a week. Sabi ko, try ko nga ito. Kasi nagustuhan nila ito eh. Baka magustuhan rin nila ito. Parehas ng set. And guess what? Na-compliment nila ako ulit. And Tiger naman yung gamit ko. I guess talagang malakas compliments yung ganito klase ng scent. This is based on grapefruit with amber. And this, again, one of the best citrus. This is actually my best citrus fragrance for year 2023. Because the grapefruit in here smells super alive. Smells very natural. Alam mo yung sobrang sabi ko na pag ginamit ko to, na nakaka-uplift siya ng mood. Next is Hasibat from Nishane. Siyempre dahil lagi ko itong ginagamit. It's one of my most favorite scents. Of course, I get compliments with it. Plus, the performance is also above average kasi. That's why the tendency of getting compliments is really there. It's bergamot, it's pineapple, some woods, and oak moss. It is fresh, it's slightly woody, certain, slightly green. So it is unique, but the scent is very mass pleasing kaya andayong mo kukuhang compliments using this fragrance. Also, the performance is fantastic. Above average, almost nuclear, very strong, fresh fragrance. Yeah, one of my favorite scents of all time. Next is another favorite of mine. This is Pansera Sedrat Bose Intense version. Of course, citruses, fruits, Woods and some wood are some of the notes that you will get in here. I love the black currant note in here. Sobrang the best. It's fresh. It's manly. It's woody. It's very present. It's very potent in the air. It's strong projecting. It's long lasting. Everything na kailangan ko sa isang perfume is underrated talaga. Marami ako na kong compliments using this. Marami na kakagusto sa scent na to. Plus again, the performance is is there. That's why it's present. Napapansin ka talaga. It's one of the best niche perfume na bibili mo for its price point. Plus the scent, quality, performance, everything. One of my best complimented perfumes in the year 2023. So those are my top 10 complimented perfumes in the year 2023. Let me know kung ano yung mga most complimented perfumes nyo this year. Drop it down in the comment section. Thank you for always sticking with me through the years. Hanggang sa naglabas ako ng perfume. Thank you for all your support. And wishing you guys happy new year. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.